What's going on guys? Over the past two weeks, I went out to test the Galaxy Z Fold 4 cameras against the S22 Ultra as well as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm not a photographer at any means, but I did want to go out and see what the difference is between these three cameras. Starting off in daylight with wide angle, they all did a good job, but the Samsung devices is slightly wider and I did notice that the pictures that I've taken on the Z Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra shows more information in the shadows. In 3x optical zoom, the iPhone punches more into the picture which I like, but the S22 Ultra also has a 10x optical zoom as well, so you can get further into your shot. In this picture, other than the slight differences in color, the S22 and the Fold 4 again boost the shadows, but in turn you can see more grain on the lower corner of the car door, while the iPhone keeps it more clean, so I do kind of prefer the iPhone here. In this scenario, the shadows are kept with the Samsung devices while exposing the clouds better. And in 3 times zoom, the highlight is a little blown out on the wall behind the dumpster on the iPhone. This is a video of me walking in Midtown, and the iPhone video is brighter, but they all did a good job with stabilization. In this portrait shot, the Z Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra kept my hand and part of my shorts in focus to give it more like a, like a roll off blur, while the iPhone only kept part of the lid in focus. One thing I noticed when you want to quickly snap a pic without tapping to focus, the Z Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra tends to focus a little further away, while the iPhone focuses more on the foreground like this picture. The iPhone did crush the shadows in the chairs. And in terms of colors, the accurate color would be somewhat a mix of the iPhone and the Z Fold 4. And in this next set of pictures, I did want to see how these devices took pictures in tricky lighting and particularly in bright but cloudy day. For selfies, the Z Fold 4 and the S22 made the picture brighter while the iPhone kept things more consistent. In portrait mode, I wanted to make it challenging by focusing on my brother's face while having the ball out of focus. And in this picture, I wanted only the basketball in focus, but I couldn't get that same effect on the iPhone. This one is like a kind of a mixed bag. The iPhone did saturate the picture more, giving a deeper black on his shirt than what it really was, and made the basketball orange like how a basketball is supposed to look. But in reality, it was more of a faded color similar to the Samsung devices due to the ball being left outside for multiple years. I wouldn't call this a win for the S22 and the Fold either because they did overexpose slightly. I don't know what happened to the Z Fold 4, my brother's face looked washed out and even though the iPhone has a warmer yellowish tint to it, it did keep more of the details in the ground as well as the lines in the fence. In these next set of photos, it was also cloudy out and the iPhone went for more of a cooler tone, making the sky in Cindy's shirt more of a, like a bluish tone. The S22 Ultra also lost more of the details in the sky and slightly overexposed her shirt, while the Z Fold 4 did the best here. The same thing happened here in this portrait shot for the iPhone and the Samsung phone seemed to have switched exposure and I prefer the S22 Ultra here. In this three times portrait shot, you can see it seems like there's like a haze over the S22 shot but I did make sure that the lenses were clean on all three phones. This is another portrait and cinematic video, so let me know which one you guys think looks better here.
The iPhone also went for a cooler temperature in the selfie camera, making her shirt look more of a blue. And for skin tone accuracy, it's between the Z Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra. Moving on to low light indoor shots, all three produced different shots with the iPhone showing more somewhat of a cleaner photo while crushing the blacks in his shirt and giving them both more of an orange glow that was bleeding over from the light. And the Z Fold 4 captured more of a detail while also showing more of an accurate representation of the picture. In this next picture, I want to show again what will happen if you quickly snap a pic. The iPhone focused on the foreground, more on the fries, and the S22 and the Z Fold 4 focused more on the steak. Here, the Samsung phones showed more of an accurate color at the time, while also not blowing out the lights as much as the iPhone. In most situations in low light, the iPhone would only keep the shutter open 3 to 4 seconds while you're holding in hand, and the Samsung phones will go about 5 to 6 seconds. The time would increase if you're using that tripod, but if you're holding in your hand, they do limit the time. And on Samsung, you do have the addition to use Pro Mode if you want to dial more into your shot. But that's it for today's comparison. I mainly wanted to test out the cameras in tricky situations, and I think they all did good in their own right. But if you would like to see more in the next one, let me know. And until next time, have a good one.